Hi students, problem number 9. A 3310 angstrom photon liberates an electron from a material with energy 3 into 10 power minus 19 joule while another 5000 angstrom photon ejects an electron with energy 0 0.972 into 10 power minus 19 joule from the same material. Determine the value of Planck's constant and the threshold wavelength of the material. So here my dear students have to understand the concept. Using the same metal or the material, different frequency photons are incident and uh, photoelectrons uh, are coming out with different kinetic energies but material is the same so what clue is given is uh, the work function in both the cases remains the same so we will summarize what are the given quantities first the wavelength of the first case photon is lambda 1 is equal to 3310 angstrom unit or 3.31 into 10 power minus 7 meter and the corresponding kinetic energy of the photoelectron is Ke1 is equal to 3 into 10 power minus 19 joule. In the second case, the photon has a wavelength lambda 2 equal to 5000 angstrom unit or 5 into 10 power minus 7 meter. And the corresponding kinetic energy in the second case is 0 0.972 into 10 power minus 19 joule, where work function phi naught remains the same. So, in such problems, first you will have to begin with the Albert Einstein's photoelectric equation for both the cases i will write for the first case okay for the first case the incident energy hc by lambda 1 is equal to work function phi naught plus ke maximum 1 so this is the equation 1 for the second case hc by lambda 2 is equal to phi naught plus kinetic energy Ke2. So you can see that Ke1 is greater than Ke2. So when I subtract uh, equation 1 minus equation 2, when I subtract 2 from equation 1, uh, I can eliminate this quantity phi naught, is it not? So that the left hand side will become what? Hc by lambda 1 minus Hc by lambda 2. So this can be written as Hc into 1 by lambda 1 minus 1 by lambda 2 and this is equal to phi naught minus phi naught get cancelled ke2 minus ke1 so ke2 is a uh, i think ke1 minus ke2 so that uh, now 3 into 10 power minus 19 okay 3 minus 0 0.972 into common factor is 10 power minus 19 okay now we want to find the Planck's constant and this is the last of like we are going to substitute and this term the subtracted term will be coming to the denominator on the right hand side. So what is h is equal to h is now equal to 3 minus 0 0.972 into 10 power minus 19 divided by velocity of light is 3 into 10 power 8. Now lambda 1 and lambda 2 we are going to substitute is it not so 1 divided by this lambda 1 when you write 10 power minus 7 will become as 10 power plus 7 so this can be written as 10 power 7 divided by 3.31 minus 10 power 7 divided by 5 okay so I have written like this because it is 3.31 1 divided by 3.31 10 power minus 7 so that the ratio is now reciprocated so 10 power 7 divided by 3.31 minus 10 power 7 divided by 5 so that I can take a common factor of 10 power 7 so now this is equal to I can find out the, the difference 3 minus 0.972 so 3 minus 0.972 this is equal to 2.028 into 10 to the power of minus 19 divided by 3 into 10 power 8 into 10 power 7 will become 10 power 15. Okay, 10 power 15 into now we have to take the LCM. Is it not 1 by 
1 divided by 3.31 minus 1 divided by 5. So I will continue here. H is now equal to 2.028 into 10 to the power of minus 19 divided by 3 into 10 to the power of 15 into. So you can cross multiply and take the LCF. This is 5 minus 3.31. So this is 5 minus 3.31 divided by 5 into 3.31. So that H is now equal to 2.028 into 10 to the power of minus 19 divided by 3 into 10 to the power of 15 into. So 5 minus 3.31 is equal to 1.69. So this is 1.69. Now this denominator product will go up to the numerator, is it not? So this 5 into 3.31, 5 into 3.31, that is equal to 16.55. I will write here 16.55. Calculation is very lengthy, you will have to do many practice. Okay. So what is this? Finally, we have to find out. So 10 powers, when this uh, plus 15 goes up, uh, it will become minus 15. So that minus 34 will come. So that 2.028, 2 2.028 multiplied by 16.55. So this is equal to 33.5634 into 10 to the power of this minus 15 adds up with this so that this will become minus 34 divided by 1.69 into 3 1.69 into 3 so this is 5.07 5.07 already we have shifted this power here okay so this fraction we will find out now 33.5634 divided by 5.07 so this is exactly coming as a 6.62 into 10 to the power of minus 34 and the unit is joule into second so this is uh, the Planck's constant uh, required answer is h is equal to 6.62 into 10 to the power of minus 34 joule second this is only the first subdivision is it not defined uh, so determine the value of Planck's constant, we have determined that. And uh, the threshold wavelength, threshold wavelength we have to find out, is it not? So this is the first subdivision only we have completed so far. Suppose if you want to find uh, the threshold wavelength, uh, first we have to find out uh, the work function, is it not? Because work function phi naught only is equal to what? H uh, nu naught or HC by lambda naught. So first we will have to determine what to find out. So I will take up the second equation. In the second equation, I am going to find out phi naught. Phi naught is equal to what? Hc by lambda 2 minus Ke2. Is it not? Ke2 is given in joule. So first phi naught. Okay. From equation 2, phi naught is equal to Hc by lambda 2. So Hc by lambda 2 minus R. Ke2, okay, Ke2. So that this is now equal to what H. Just now we have determined. So we can now substitute that. The value of H is what 6.62 into 10 to the power of minus 34 divided by uh, into velocity of light is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 divided by lambda 2. What is lambda 2 here? 5 into 10 power minus 7. So this is 5 into 10 to the power of minus 7. And uh, this is uh, subtracted Ke2 0.972. So that uh, 0.972 into 10 power minus 19 joule. So now you first uh, Look at the powers of 10. This minus 7, minus 7 when it comes up, 8 plus 7 will become 15. Is it not? 
so that minus 34 plus 15 will come as minus 19 so that uh, now I will write uh, phi naught is equal to 6.62 6.62 multiplied by 3 so 19.86 divided by 5 so that this is 3.972 so this is 3.972 into 10 power minus 19 first factor minus second factor is minus of minus of second factor is 0 0.972 so 0 0.972 into 10 power minus 19 so that uh, this is 3 into 10 power minus 19 June so phi naught is the work function is it not this is a 3 into 10 power minus 19 joule but what is work function phi naught also is equal to what h into nu naught this also equal to what hc by lambda naught where lambda naught is only called as what the threshold wavelength that only has to be determined so from this equation now lambda naught is equal to hc by phi naught okay Therefore, uh, lambda naught is equal to h into c divided by phi naught. So that this is equal to h is 6.62 into 10 to the power of minus 34. Into c is velocity of light 3 into 10 power 8. Divided by phi naught is 3 into 10 power minus 19. 3 into 10 power minus 19. Very simple calculation. You see 3 and 3 will be cut off. Only 10 power sir have to be adjusted so that this is equal to 6.62 into 10 to the power of minus 34 into this uh, minus 19 comes up as plus 19 19 plus 8 is how much 27 okay so into 10 power but minus uh, this is a uh, 10 power plus 27 So that uh, remaining 10 power is what is 6.62 into 10 to the power of minus 7 meter. So this is the threshold wavelength. So if you if you convert it into angstrom unit means now 10 power minus 10 meter has to come so that we can multiply this number by 1000. Therefore uh, lambda naught is equal to 6620 angstrom unit. So this is the other way of writing the threshold wavelength in angstrom unit so my dear students uh, how we did this problem is uh, the first uh, we have to group the terms uh, so the two cases uh, in both the cases uh, the incident the photons are different and the emitted uh, kinetic energy of the electrons are different but the work function is the same then for the first and the second case uh, we have to substitute what uh, Einstein's photoelectric equation and we have to eliminate the work function from that we can get the value of Planck's constant then that value of Planck's constant is substituted in the second case sir. we substituted the equation for the work function and from determining the work function we can uh, find out the threshold wavelength lambda naught I hope you must have understood the fine